it's Tamara back here and Tamzen and we are here today to talk to you guys about the differences between acrobatics and gymnastics. It's a really popular question that I get asked all the time with new students coming in and new parents. So we're going to elaborate for you guys on just six simple points on what makes acro so different to gymnastics? Okay, so the first point we have is gymnastics is more of a sport type of um, form and acrobatics is creative art form like. The way that you can differentiate between the two is gymnastics is is scored or is um, critiqued on like a technical point of view where you can have like marks and points whereas acrobatic dance is like more up until your own interpretation, how the judges feel is just it's creative, it's a creative art form. Point number two um, is equipment versus using your body. So acrobatics, um, you just use your body for all of your skills and your tricks, whereas gymnastics, you have your beams, your bars, your floors, and all those other extra goodies that they incorporate into their training. Number three is gymnastics is very powerhouse orientated. It's like yeah, it's just like power, it's like boom, yes, <laughs> it's like the strength, it's the tumbling, it just it has a powerful type of look to it, whereas acrobatics is fluidity, so it's, it's actually adding like a, um, different skills to a dancing platform, so it's fluid, you have movement in between. Okay, point number four, tumbling versus contortion, so with gymnastics you have a lot more tumbling base with a little bit of flexibility, but not nearly as much as acrobatics. And then acrobatics is more contortion based, even though it does incorporate some tumbling skills. So you're gonna get a lot more flexibility out of doing acrobatics, and then versus doing it in gymnastics. We'll have more strength in gymnastics. More strength in gymnastics, even though there's quite a lot of strength. In acro. Yeah. In acro as well. <laughs> Number five is the type of floors or the environment that you're rehearsing in or training in. Um, gymnastics is a sprung floor for all the tumbling, it's your bar work, it's the same thing as your apparatus as well as dance. I mean acrobatics is in the dance studio so it's um, yeah it's like a dance studio floor, wooden floor with maybe a little bit of spring underneath it but yeah like when you mats. go and, and I just want to elaborate on that quickly is when you go and perform you don't know what kind of stage you're getting so you have to be able to adapt and do whatever your acro dance and your acro tricks are on whatever floor you're provided with. It's and even floor. your performances and your shows or whatever they do, their competitions are always on the same yeah. type of floor, whilst acrobatics, dance, and dance is on different stages. You never know what you're going to yeah. get. Yeah. Yeah. Point number six is preparations versus element of surprise. So for gymnastics, you have hardcore preparations before you do your tricks. It's like the arms and the corner, and now I'm gonna take a run, and I'm gonna dive, and I'm gonna do this flip, 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 and then here's my preparation for my turn and hop. Whereas with acrobatics, you've got your element of surprise where the preparations are coming out of certain movements that you're not going to expect all of a sudden. There's an aerial from a turn, or you know, what other kind of trick example would you? Is it like trick flows into trick? It's not like it's a trick and then you've done and you you hold it and you're like, cool, I just finished the trick and then you do another one. It's like yeah. your tricks flow into another, so you could do like an aerial into a front walkover into something, something. So you never know what's coming. Yeah. So those are pretty much the differences between your acrobatics and your gymnastics work. So I hope that really helps you guys to understand the differences and what makes them so unique in their own departments. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to comment below and we'll happily answer them back for you. Have an awesome day and we'll see you next time. Bye.